Hello everyone, welcome back to the Late Night Show with your host, yours truly, Carlos Alvarez Macias. Yes, I sound edited really back because I really miss you guys. Yeah, as you guys know, we're in the stay at home edition. So for this segment of the show, we're going to be talking to an entrepreneur that goes by the name Jonathan. He works with an organization called America United, which is an organization that believes abolishing the Electoral College is the way to go. So without further ado, we have an interview scheduled with him. Uh, you can see him up here. So Jonathan, can you hear me? Jonathan? Hey! Give him a second, guys. Yeah! Are you ready? Hey, Jonathan, would you like to introduce yourself to the public here? Hey, Carlos. Yeah, I'm sorry. I really apologize for that. I was really concentrating on looking at your show right now. It's live, but it seems like it's a little bit delayed. So, I'm sorry about that, but yes, we're live now. Uh, so, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Jonathan Siqueiros. I am the current CEO of America United. Awesome. Thank you, Jonathan, for introducing yourself. So, uh, we want to ask a few questions. Uh, so, first off, can you talk a little bit about your uh, organization and what it aims to do? Yes, of course, I can totally do that. So this company was established back in 1922 by my uh, grandfather who was going to name Carlos like yours. <laughs> so yeah, he saw many problems that were in between the Electoral College and he decided, well, he believed that a national popular vote would be better because the system of the Electoral College was implemented ever since the Constitution of 1787, which is like pretty outdated. So uh, two of the things uh, that are very important to us are the national popular votes and how we could tackle the faithless elector problem. So let me talk a little bit about each. So the national popular vote uh, basically means that every single individual in America will have their uh, vote accounted for, right? So this is very important if we want to choose a candidate, if the people want to choose a candidate, not a group of people. So as we know, the Electoral College is composed of a group of people and um, each state has a different number of electors based on their population, which makes the system very unfair. Uh, so, uh, smaller states like Alaska and Arkansas and all of those won't have many uh, electors in between them, so that means that um, they're not going to be uh, that greatly recognized by the presidential candidate and they won't be campaigning there, so that means they're not going to be paying attention to those uh, citizens, right? Uh, also, uh, this will also tie in with the faithless elector problem we have in our nation. Uh, according to, to Trip Gabriel, he says that members of the Electoral College who cast the actual votes for the president may choose whomever they please regardless of the state's popular vote, which is like a big problem. Uh, so because of that, um, uh, so let's say, for example, uh, Arizona who votes Republican, right? Uh, the, elector, uh, the elector there may choose to ignore the people's vote. So if the popular vote in Arizona was uh, Democratic, the elector can choose to uh, vote Republican and give the vote to the Republican presidential candidate, which is like very unfair. They're not uh, taking a, into account the people's vote. They're the ones who are choosing for themselves. So that's one of the things that is a big problem. This is how Hillary Clinton lost the 2016 election. Uh, so according to another source by PK, she mentions that um, between 7 and 10 electoral votes were lost uh, in Clinton's campaign as a result of the faithless elector problem. So this is something we really want to tackle and the opposing side may mention that uh, this is the fair way to go but it really is not because the people choose the president and not a group of people. So one of the things here is that um, the government says that our vote matters. Uh, no, it doesn't. Our vote does not matter uh, unless it's uh, the primaries where we choose someone to run against the presidential candidate. So my simple answer to that is where is the freedom, right? So yeah, that's basically what our organization is for and what it stands for, where we believe abolishing the Electoral College is the way to go. So thank you, Carlos, for having me. Awesome, Jonathan. Thank you so much. Uh, very interesting information indeed. Here in the late night show, we usually, like every single show, we make fun of politics and all that. And this is probably something that has been going around for like a couple of years already. Because I remember the controversy back in 2016 when Hillary Clinton won the popular vote. But once again, uh, she failed to secure enough electors to win the election. So yeah, thank you so much for your kind information. If you guys want to go ahead and check out Jonathan's website, you can find the link to the website right here. And I'll also provide them with their uh, email. 
So anyways, everyone, uh, that's going to be it for today. I really want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please stay safe. I know these are hard times. And I will see you later on next week's edition of the Late Night Show. Stay at home edition.